Our opening song is going to be number 587, Christ Be Our Light, 587. Good morning. Our opening song will be number 587, Christ Be Our Light, 587. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ be our light. Shine in your church. Gather today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather today, we come to remember Saints Timothy and Titus, who were early bishops of the church, but who also were, shall we say, disciples of Saint Paul. And they, all, and they oversaw the churches of Ephesus and Crete. And so as we gather, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus, with apostolic virtues. Grant through the intercession of them both that, living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ, Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Jesus Christ, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father, the Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. 
as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that I that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a power of, and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner uh, for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to, to all, all the nations. nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Thank Proclaim you. God's mar marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce the salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim, Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. See, among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the harvest. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we've heard the Gospel a thousand times, but we haven't heard Paul's beginning letter to Timothy. Timothy is not a young man, but he is a young man in faith. So Paul takes him under his arm 
and begins to instruct him so that Timothy doesn't, as well as Titus, I need to include him, uh, that they don't find themselves in opposition to the ways of Christ Jesus our Lord. For when we come to understand ourselves as disciples, that we aren't operating by our own strength, our own vision of life, our own relationship to other people, but that we are Christ, and that Christ lives in the very core of our being, we find ourselves hearing what Timothy and Titus hear as he says to them, that is Paul, for this reason I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give you a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So he's not only speaking of their spiritual relationship to our Lord Jesus, but he's driving home the thought in that word self-control that they truly need to live a moral life that is according to the ways of Christ Jesus our Lord. And so we find Jesus in our gospel reading, saying to the early church, this is how you are to live. You are to preach the gospel in ways that truly enliven and support the ways of God's people, those who desire to be truly united to our Lord Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. You need to form communities in a way that they become people of charity. That is the heartfelt experience of Jesus in, in his life towards others. We don't live just for ourselves, just to grow spiritually like mountains, high and, and robust, but we are to share what we have with others. For he invites Timothy and Titus and all who follow Christ to really preach the gospel in deeds. We need to form community that support, encourage, um, reach out to those, especially those who are in need. So may we come to truly grow in our relationship to Christ Jesus and be like Timothy and Titus, proclaiming the gospel by example and when possible and in need by word. We place our needs, our challenges, our troubles in the Lord's hands that we might not, um, that we might um, address all of them together. So we pray for the proclamation of the gospel, both when it is easy and especially when it is challenging. We pray to the Lord. We pray that we truly may form communities of charity that reach out to the broader community, proclaiming Christ as our Savior, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those with COVID-19, especially our spiritual leaders, that um, they truly may return healthy soon. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our vocations to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate, and to holy marriage, that we truly may be filled with the Lord's presence, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who live without the necessities of life, that others might form community with them, and that together they might share the necessities of life, we pray to the Lord. 
we pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died, especially for Robert Smiths. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our needs and our challenges into your hands. Allow us to receive your direction. Strengthen us by your grace, and may we truly be proclaimers of your gospel in our day. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen your church by the example of their holy lives. Teach the church by their words of preaching and keep the church safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son Jesus, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Timothy and Titus, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith, taught by the preaching of the apostles, and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. May we pray for our seminarian, Michael Jansikowski, and for vocations to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate, and holy marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, Watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Go forth, proclaim the gospel with your life. So our song is number 587, Christ Be Our Light, uh, verse, beginning verse 3. <coughs> longing for shell, longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others. All are fed. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light. Shine in your church. Gathered today, longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, sheltering others, walls that may live in stone. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. 